now that we have successfully uh, configured uh, JDK and downloaded Android Studio, so let's begin with the detailed installation of Android Studio. And let's see what all things uh, I, I'll be doing entire setup in front of you, right? Uh, each and every, uh, it, it, it's actually a huge configuration. So it may gonna take a lot of time, but I'll gonna do some pauses in between as uh, whenever uh, there's a long interval of uh, installation going on. So I'll gonna pause uh, the video in between and we'll gonna resume it once the installation is done. But yes, I'll be following the entire steps in front of you. So uh, just see if we face any challenges while installing the Android Studio. So click on next. And yes, we would be needing Android virtual device as well. The location uh, must have at least 500 MB space and it is getting installed at this location. Android Studio install if you want to see the details it's actually extracting all the libraries so this is basically a Android Studio is a Java project so most of the things you're gonna find uh, being extracted in a form of a jar file So, like I said, I'm going to pause the video for some time till the time it finishes up uh, the installation up till over here and then I'll again resume the video. Alright, so it is almost done. Yeah, it shows completed. Now let's click on the next button. and start the Android Studio right although Android Studio is uh, actually used by developers to create Android applications but this Android Studio provides you a platform where you can download all the API's which are required uh, for Android in order to perform testing on real devices and it also provides you virtual devices as well which are known as AVD Android virtual devices so those are the things that you'll gonna see it uh, over here it is saying import studio settings from previous version or custom location or do not import so since I'm doing a fresh installation I'm going to install everything from scratch Okay, click on next, standard, and if you want to look and feel uh, in this dark format or th these things, you can configure it later on as well. And uh, we won't be using uh, Android Studio for writing our code. The code will be done using Eclipse itself, so we'll be working on uh, Eclipse uh, uh, ID itself. There are at, at times, I mean, uh, if an Android developer is uh, using Appium, uh, he can write uh, the code in Android Studio as well. So I am going to cover one lecture on Android Studio where you can write your Appium code, include the libraries and run the code directly from there. But since, I mean, uh, if in case you don't want to use Android Studio, if you are comfortable, very much comfortable with Eclipse, then do work on Eclipse uh, for Appium because 90% of the market uh, use different editors like IntelliJ or Eclipse for uh, importing all the Appium libraries and executing the code from there, right? But still, if there is any requirement of doing things uh, from Android Studio as well, then this is also an editor. 
uh, you can write your Appium code, include all the libraries and run it from Android Studio as well. So let's click on next. If you want to review things, okay, that's fine. So SDK component to download, it is going to download uh, build tool, platform tool, and then Intel x86 emulator. So this is actually an image which is required by the emulator. So total size it is telling us that these are the things which are going to be downloaded and xdk folder will be generated inside your user profile app data local android sdk so this is the path that we would need to configure later on so let's click on finish and still it will gonna do uh, a lot of installation so probably gonna take some more time right because as i said the installation is quite huge so it will actually going to take some time but yes this is a, a one-time in installation this is a one-time configuration once all things are configured successfully we need not to worry about this installation so click on yes so it says android sdk is up to date so we are actually uh, going to use the latest one itself Okay, so taking some time uh, for running Intel HAXM installer. So let me pause the video and resume it back once it is done. Okay, so it took somewhere around uh, five to seven minutes and uh, it has successfully installed uh, this intel hexam updated uh, i mean intel x uh, which is required uh, for your a a avd devices all right so uh, once it is done we're gonna click on finish and this is uh, a new screen uh, welcome to android studio we need to start a new android studio project Although we are not going to develop any application, but just uh, follow these steps, say next and next and next and click on finish. Right, we are going to create a plain Android project. So what all things that uh, we will be getting from this project uh, we first need to look at we need to go to uh, tools okay there uh, I can see something different uh, in this version okay maybe the things are being downloaded so uh, let's wait for a few more seconds This is two process running. That's great.
let the thing complete uh, I'm gonna pause the video for some time okay so uh, once this uh, building is finished you can see gradle build finished you'll go to tools and you'll find this AVD manager which is your virtual device manager and this is SDK manager which is uh, your software development kit which provides you all the libraries uh, all these api's uh, with different different uh, uh, android version right these versions are your uh, android uh, device api's so uh, if you are holding a real device you can check your android version and this is the api level associated with that version right so if we uh, go to appium main website uh, you may have seen if you go to appium.io then uh, appium supports anything above the SDK level 16 right so if uh, you are looking at the SDK so anything above 16 16 and above any device you want to perform testing uh, from here you need an API level for that so if in case I uh, install I mean this is already installed so I need not to do any uh, further installation of previous APIs but in case you are working on the latest one you need to make sure you check this and then you need to apply and install it right I'm not going to do any installation right now so once this is done you need not to do any changes in SDK at this moment click on a tool and this is your AVD manager and from here you can configure your virtual device so click on create virtual device so you can see a lot of devices available over here uh, that is pixel 2 pixel XL Nexus Nexus 5 you can choose any one uh, device uh, that you want to perform testing on these are virtual devices not the real devices so maybe I'll gonna uh, pick uh, which one Nexus 6 okay so I'm gonna clone this and you need to select phone from here next and uh, okay available Oreo is not available I believe for this okay it is available but why it's not showing the download option this is probably when I uh, did the installation earlier I did downloaded this I mean downloading is uh, very simple you simply need to click on download and it gets downloaded so this uh, Oreo 8.1 is uh, API is already downloaded on my machine right so that is the reason the download option is not available so but I mean if in case it shows download for you simply click on download link and it will get downloaded then click on next give it uh, some name so uh, Nexus AVD right and click on finish Uh, let's uh, wait for a few minutes because uh, it is going to do the installation uh, it says it's taking somewhere around 1 GB disk space uh, give me a moment click on run see when you're working with virtual devices uh, on Windows it makes your system a little slow right so that is the reason I always recommend that in case you are on Windows OS try working on a real device but if in case you don't have real Android phone then you can use this uh, AVDs right otherwise uh, AVDs on Mac they work very fast but yes I mean real devices they works faster than the Android virtual devices so this is your virtual device that you're gonna find right so let it build 
this will give you a, a, a look and feel of a real uh, Nexus device itself. So yeah, the OS is up and see, click on this, drag this up and you'll find all different applications over here. You want to see more things, drag this down, see all the settings, everything you'll gonna feel like a real device, right? You can deploy applications over here. You can perform testing on those applications. These are the things we're going to look in our upcoming lectures, right? So what all configuration uh, that we did so far, we configured JDK, we configure uh, Android Studio, and then uh, we have uh, configured a virtual device as well. In the next lecture, we're going to do some more configuration around SDK, right? Thank you.